Good morning, well good afternoon now. It's five past twelve. Hope you're all well. Thanks very much for joining us for another Welsh Christopher Robin weekend slash vlog. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us. Please do subscribe. I'm Robin, Chris is working, um, and then we've got four kids between us. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, hope you've all had a good week. Hope you've all stayed safe. This weekend, what I thought I would do is give you a little bit of an update on weight loss, calorie counting, exercise, blah, 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 blah. I've not done it for a little while. Um, I will link the videos that I've done before. Um, the what I eat in a week um, videos if you are new here um, just to give you a very quick overview I've lost now just coming up for five stone in about 18 months started with Slimmer World and then last September changed to calorie counting where I've lost the majority of my weight um, so the last couple of months I've probably plateaued well I haven't probably I have I've plateaued haven't put anything on but didn't lose anything after Easter holidays, the kids went back to school, and then in May, I went back to work after being furloughed since March last year, so it was a real step change and a real difference, and I found it, um, yeah, hard in terms of calorie counting, A, making sure that you're prepped and you're taking your stuff to work with you, but also, you know, if you're working, it takes more brain power and more energy than if you're just kind of lolling around at home, which is what I did, um, because you couldn't go anywhere, could you? Because everything was in lockdown. Um, so it's that sort of afternoon time. I find from about three, four o'clock onwards, I need some more food. And that's kind of been like my danger point and trying to control that basically. So a couple of weekends ago, I wasn't very well. I had a bit of a stomach bug. So I lost a couple, lost a couple of pounds basically. I think I must have put on like a pound or two, but equally I lost a couple as well. So overall I've lost weight now. So um, I've got a stone to go to hit my target, which will be, um, that will mean I have lost, hang on a second. So I've got four, three pounds to go to have lost my five stone. And then after that, I've got another 10 to hit my target, if that makes sense. So in a roundabout way. Um, so yeah, so basically for August, I set myself my own little challenge. So I um, set myself the challenge, I'm gonna exercise every day. Now by exercise, I don't mean a dawdle. It has to be something that makes me sweat. So going for a 4K or 6K fast paced walk, um, weights that I do, which is usually about a 40, 45 minute session, um, or a Grow With Joe session. And again, I'll link her below, but I've talked about her before. She's a YouTube channel that really works for me. So it's the 7th of August today. So I have done six days straight of exercise. Um, yeah, and it's going all right, to be honest. I quite, it's making sure that I fit it in. So I burn in between anywhere between 200 and 400 extra calories per day. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going okay. I'm, I quite like the challenge. I'm not doing it for charity or anything else apart from myself. I just want to set myself that challenge and see what I can do. Calorie counting wise, I use NutriCheck. And again, I'll link it down below. Um, and throughout today, I'll do some reels just to kind of show how easy it is to use it. Um, I just found it really easy to use. Monday to Friday, Chris and I tend to have HelloFresh and um, all the HelloFresh meals. I'll do a little reel just here so you can see. Um, are linked, so when you go through to select your dinner for that evening, you just put in HelloFresh or Gusto because we tend to alternate between the two. Um, and yeah, you just pick it, it's there. There's no weighing, there's no measuring. You know what you're having for tea, it's easy. And especially if you're back at work and you don't wanna come home and think, oh my God, what have I gotta cook? You've still gotta cook it, obviously, but not with figuring it out, weighing and measuring, then remembering if you're calorie counting to weigh and measure everything, put it into NutriCheck. I just find HelloFresh and Gusto really easy in that way. And then it's just breakfast and lunch. So um, yeah, this morning, um, and I will again insert a reel of me doing this. So, so far today, so it's five past 12. So I have had a coffee, a homemade coffee. Um, I've then had um, like a sort of pan of chocolate type thing, which I think is about 130 calories. Um, I've been out and about shopping, so I will show you what I got as well. Um, and then I picked up a Costa, skinny, medium, skinny latte, extra shot. So I will add all those in on the reel as we're talking. Lunch, I think I'm gonna have soup. And for tea, I picked up something when we were out. So um, yeah, so I went out. I went to Home Bargains, Aldi's, and Sainsbury's. Bit of a trawl around Newport this morning, but I wanted to get a few different bits. Um, yeah, so yeah, so 
join me this weekend. I'm not going to be doing very much. It's not a very exciting weekend vlog, but it will show you what I'm eating um, this weekend. As I say, exercise wise, I'm going to do a grow with Joe today. And then tomorrow I'm going to go out and do a 6k walk because the weather's not very nice today. And Chris and I did a 4k walk in the week and got absolutely drenched. It's, um, yeah, I found it invigorating. I don't think he did. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to finish my coffee and um, yeah, crack on with the day. So as I said, I've popped out and I did some shopping. So I'm going to sh just show you here some of the things that I've bought that are specifically in terms of calorie counting. So I'll go in order of the shops that I went in. So first I went into Home Bargains, needed to get a load of household stuff. But in terms of calorie counting, these are the bits I got. So they're the Bliss Bars, basically. I sometimes prefer them to the Skinny Whips. I'm not going to lie that you get from B&M and stuff like that. So the ones that I got here is the Dark Chocolate and Coconut. They're a bit like a bounty bar. Very nice. 99 calories. I then got the salted caramel whip bars, again, 99 calories, and I picked up these that I haven't tried before, but I did just try one, Bliss Indulgent Moments, 35 calories each, and basically, it's a Ferrero Rocher. They're very nice, actually, and you get 20 in a pack. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's what I got in terms of calorie counting from Home Bargains. Aldi, then yogurts they're 25 grams per pot of protein but they are 148 calories but they're really nice really creamy and very filling so i really like those i then got the multi-grain waves sour cream and crackled black pepper they're really tasty and they are per bag 117 calories very nice these are mine and the kids' absolute favourites. We love these. Veggie straws, they're 122 calories per bag. You get kale, tomato and spinach. Even Liam will eat these, honestly. They don't sell them in multi-packs. Multi One of my biggest frustrations. So I end up buying like 10 bags of the things. But we love these and they're so nice, honestly. Go and get yourself some veggie straws. And then finally, I picked up two boxes of the Fibre Now popcorn bars. They're 88 calories per bar. And yeah, they're quite handy to just have around the house. Oops. Um, and again, Erin will eat these, so that's quite handy. Then I went to Sainsbury's specifically for these two things. So as I say, Chris is pretty much working all weekends at the moment. So I spend a lot of time on my own. Kids are at their dad's this weekend, so I'm going to have a pizza night. I have had this one before and I did vlog it. It's the ham, mushroom and garlic spinach stone baked pizza. But the whole pizza, and I'll take a picture of it because I doubt this is going to focus on it. It's 439 calories. It's really nice, really tasty. Not a bad size. I do tend to add a little bit more cheese, so I will add that on to NutriCheck. But yeah, really, really nice. I then picked up the spiced roasting cauliflower, which I had back last year. So it's got turmeric, coriander, cumin, and black onion seeds. And basically, what I'm going to do is a um, a chicken curry tomorrow in the slow cooker with chicken thighs. Um, but instead of having rice. Chris and I would have this, and for half a pack is 62 calories. It's got loads in it. It's, oh God, it's got loads in it, I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, it's got onions, as I say, cauliflower, and it's just a really nice alternative to having rice, and obviously, from a calorie perspective and um, all the other goodness, it's really, really nice, so definitely I would recommend getting that. When I was there then, I also pinked up, um, pinked, picked up some pink pickled slaw. I love this with salads. Um, I just think it adds something a bit, bit you know, a bit zhuzhy, shall we, shall we say, to it. This per half a pot is 43 calories. So again, really, really good on the calorie counting. Soups I find are really good um, in terms of calorie counting. And this is one I haven't tried before. It's the Glorious Super Soup. It's a Tuscan chicken um, tomato and grains and per half a pot is 99 calories I'd have the whole thing myself so you can work 300 grams so I'd have 600 grams 99 what is it like 198 calories for lunch perfect and then because my pizza is so good I think I might have a little bit of cheese and crackers after these are my absolute favorite crackers ever they're Peter's Yard sourdough crisp breads um I love them and they come in three individual packs and they are per, um, per doodah, per biscuit, uh, 38 calories. So I don't actually think that's too bad, you know, if you're having a treat, some biscuits and stuff. So yeah, so these are all the bits that I got, as I say, that kind of this week on top of HelloFresh and then normal salads and all the rest of it and stuff, I'll be using to, um, yeah, so help me through the week. 
this is what I've just done. I've just done the walk, the weight off, three miles, go with Jo. I didn't burn 600 calories, but I can assure you I've done quite a lot. And then after all of her workouts, I do this stretch and recovery as well. Um, so yeah, walk the weight off. So did those. I'll turn it around. It's a hideously sweaty sight, isn't it? But I did do... Hang on a second, see if he's being funny. So I did 55 minutes and burned 449 calories. Um, and that in 50 calories, I'll insert what it looks like on my um, Apple Watch there. So yeah, so, oh my God, look at it. It's genuinely dripping off me. I've got my new um, Sainsbury's sort of sports crop top bra type thing on. And honestly, without showing me booba loobas off, sweating. But yeah, I feel so much better. It is, it's 20 past five. So I'm going to sit down now for half an hour, watch the Lions because it's the last test match, cool down, and then I'm going to have a bath and chill out. And then um, I'll do pizza, so I'll show you that as well then. So, um, yeah, exercise, tick, day seven. Cool down, you'll be pleased to know. So, um, yeah, it's half past seven, so I'm going to do the pizza now. So I've just got it out of the packet, um, and this is it. There it is, and then I have measured out 30 grams of the Lidl's 50% lighter cheese. Now, it doesn't melt the best, but it's all about the calories, isn't it, people? So let's just sprinkle some more of that good stuff over the top. I'll just get it all, we don't want to lose any, do I? Miss out on any. And just to kind of show you, you know, it's bigger than my hand, and I've got a sausage fingers, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to shove this in the oven and some. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. And dinner is served. Here it is. Cut up into slices. I've got some lighter Hellman's mayo. Um, yeah, and I'll put uh, the reel in with all the, um, what dinner was in terms of calories. So total calories for dinner this evening is, hold on a second while I just bring it up. Um, so dinner, because I've actually put on, um, and you'll see on the reel, it's 1,109 because I've put the cheese and crackers on as well. So, um, yes, yeah, so at the moment I'm on 1,060 calories for the day. So, um, yeah, all good. So I'm going to have my pizza and my crackers. Happy days. Good morning. And yet another sweaty mess. Good morning. Um, so, yeah, so last night I um, chilled out, had my pizza, had my cheese and crackers. I did then have two more of the Bliss um, sort of little Ferrero Rocher things. So I think I finished on 2,000, um, just over 2,000 calories. So, um, but still obviously having 400 calories of exercise as well. So happy with that. That was a good day. Um, so yes, it is Sunday morning. It's just coming up for 10 to 11. So far I've had a coffee and a popcorn bar. Um, and then I've just been out and done, hence the sweatiness, a 6K walk. So I burned 433 calories. I'll pop it up. Here, the picture for you. So, yeah, 6k in 56 minutes. So, happy with that. But oh my god, I'm hot. It's so close, isn't it? It's windy in the wind. It's lovely. But it's very, very close. So, I'm boiling. So, I forgot to say yesterday. Still, um, if you watched my previous What I Eat in a Week, you'll know that I use these Stemma bottles. Um, and I think yesterday I probably had four of them. Plus, I had like some Diet Cokes and obviously I had coffee and stuff. So yeah, make sure you're drinking lots and lots of fluids would be my other bit of advice. So I'm going to have this. So breakfast, I'm going to do my soft boiled eggs, avocado, two bits of 50-50 bread. Um, and then I'm going to make tea, which I'll show you. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to have for lunch yet. I might say, see how I feel because it's quite a big breakfast at like 10 to 11. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we're having for lunch. But yeah, happy exercise done doing the um, chicken curry so um, I'm going to do it in the slow cooker so I have chicken thighs I've been very lazy but I didn't need onions for anything else so I just got a bag of sliced onions chopped tomatoes and then a whole load of spices and some um, chicken stock and then I'll literally just shove it in the slow cooker and it can cook away then for the rest of the afternoon um, yeah and have that and then um, with the cauliflower so yeah, I'm going to put that all together now and then shove it in the slow cooker. So there we go. I don't know if you can see that. That's the, uh, if I turn, take the lid off quickly. There we go. That's the chicken curry. And I've got to say, I did also add garlic and ginger as well whilst frying it off. And then, yeah, I'll leave that in there now for a good sort of four or five hours and away we go. Half past two. 
I look no better, I do apologise, but I'm going to have some lunch now. So um, yeah, had breakfast and then um, obviously made the curry that you saw and then I've cleaned top to bottom. The house is now clean. The only thing I haven't done is hoover. I hate hoover in our house. It's a townhouse. Ugh, horrible. But I am having something to lunch. I didn't fancy soup. Didn't, definitely didn't fancy a salad, so I'm just having a sandwich. Um, so what I've got is a chicken sandwich. I'll show it all to you in the run that you can see now. Um, so yeah, so chicken, two bits of coat, um, King's Mill 50-50 bread, a little bit of butter, and a little bit of um, mayo as well, just to kind of taste. It's like a garlic and herby one, which is nice. And then the foodie market um, multigrain whey of sour cream and crackle back pepper, uh, which I got yesterday in Aldi, as you would have seen. So for lunch, let me just show you, I'm sure you can see it already, 449 calories. So with dinner added on, because I already did that earlier, um, I'm on about 1700 calories for today. So I've got 310 left, but I don't think I'll need all 310. We'll see how long the day is, hey? Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to eat this and then um, chill out for a bit before the kids come home. Clock, tea time, chicken curry if you remember. Here are chills. So, chicken curry, cauliflower, and Chris has arrived. There he is. Hola. Hola. Making a rare appearance on the vlog. Um, brought some nans. So, as you will see, and I'll put it up um, on the side there for NutriCheck. And then for dessert, I'm going to have one of the 10 cal jellies. It's actually only 8 calories. Which I think leaves me... You'll be able to see this before I do, because I'm looking at my phone now. Bear with, bear with. So, um two calories left for the day <laughs> excellent news yeah, so yeah it's bang on tic tacs right there yeah but have done 510 calories of exercise um which is my walk and then obviously i cleaned the house so um all that's kind of added up as well so yeah so gonna enjoy this and um yeah later so um i hope you found um kind of what i eat in a weekend useful and i did promise that i would round up this weekend's vlog with just sort of where I am in terms of weight loss and inches also very important so and I'll put a little picture up in the corner as well so in total now I have lost four stone 11 I have exactly one stone to go people one stone so um yeah I really hope I'd like to get that gone before we go to Florida in November if I can I'm not sure we'll see but um yeah four stone 11 which I'm well happy with so in terms of inches because I said it's not all about the weight loss you know exercise massively helps with the inches so um again it's just on here so um thighs I've lost 3.1 inches waist I've lost nine inches off my waist um hips 7.5 inches arms 1.1 and bust 5.5 inches so I'm really happy with that. Clearly, my problem areas are my thighs and my arms. But my arms, I have got a bit of a bingo wing going on. But it's got more... Um, I was saying to one of my friends the other day, I, I now have an armpit, which to anybody who isn't overweight won't make any sense but if you are it's kind of like you know when you put your arm up to do your deodorant and I've got a bit of definition on my arm which I enjoy I've never had that before really so that's definitely the weights 100% so you know clothes wise now I'm probably between on the top I'm probably a 16 um to 18 because my bust is still kind of big I've still got big boobs so um depending on what the top is um is a 16 to 18 and then pretty much the same on the bottoms um i've got some trousers that are 18s that are too big around the waist um jeans i bought the other day from primark and i picked up a 20 because they were quite tight they're sort of skinny so they're okay on the legs but on the waist they're massive or when i say legs i mean like bums and hips um but on the waist they're huge um so unfortunately i just think that's my shape i'm kind of as i've said before very sort of curvy um so i just buy a belt now and i enjoy the fact that i Sorry, buy i'm having trouble hearing you thank you siri um let me just turn him down um yeah i buy a medium sized belt from primark now which i'm very happy about and um yeah so you know it's I'm really enjoying it. I enjoy the weight loss that I've lost. I certainly don't intend to put any back on. Um, and almost to the point where I'm a little bit paranoid about it. And I kind of think, oh my God, I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to have eaten a pizza and put four stone 11 back on. Clearly that's not going to happen, but you know, you never know. So yeah, so that's where I'm at. So, you know, I hope as always that you find these useful. I find it quite good to chat it through with you guys and, um, 
you know, you guys, or 30 subscribers, but anyway, and just kind of talk it on camera and put it on camera because that really helps me. Um, so yeah, so as always, thanks for watching. Comment down below if you find calorie counting easy, if you've tried to grow with Joe. Um, yeah, and just let me know and get, let me know your thoughts. And if you've got any hints and tips, I need to get that the right way around, um, then yeah, please do comment down below. But as always, thanks so much for watching. Um, please subscribe. Please click the like button. As I said, comment down below. Follow us over on um, Instagram on the Welsh Christopher Robin. And we will see you, or I will see you, same time, same place, six o'clock on a Saturday. Take care, guys. Bye.